Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. In this video, I am going to discuss about classes and objects available in C++. So first of all, these are my details, uh, my contact number, my email ID, website, app, which you can download from Google Play Store, uh, tutorials link, my books, uh, which I have authored. You can subscribe and watch this YouTube channel uh, where various uh, videos are available related to programming. So friends, now uh, let's take a look on classes and objects which are available in C++. So before starting uh, classes and object discussion, let's understand the flow of object oriented approach. So you are seeing that there are three blocks in which first is containing object. Object is known as real world entity. After uh, identification of object, we have to implement a class which is displayed in second block. And after implementation of a class, we can implement object of class. So object of class is known as instance or variable of the class. So this is the detailed description of uh, the flow which we have discussed in the previous slide. So first entity is object. So an object is a real world entity which has some attributes which are known as data members and behaviors which are known as operations or functions. So if uh, these two entities, uh, data members and member functions are available with an object, then only it can be considered as object, otherwise not. Then second entity, which is known as class. So a class is known as user defined data type. It is a collection of data member and member functions, which are related to an object. A class is a blueprint of an object. So after uh, identification of object, we can implement that object with the help of class. So you can also say that uh, class is a logical representation of an object. So uh, an object has attributes uh, and behaviors. So a class is uh, used to implement those attributes and uh, behaviors. Now the third entity is class object. So class object, it is an instance or variable of the class. It occupies some amount of memory so that logical operations can be performed uh, using member functions. So uh, in simple term, we can say that it is a variable or instance of the class which can be implemented after implementation of class inside main function. Next is class specification. So uh, class specification means uh, the syntax of the class how uh, we can implement uh, member functions and data members inside the class. So uh, for that purpose, we have to uh, understand the syntax of the class first. So you can see that in this slide, uh, syntax contain a keyword that is known as class, then name of the class, then curly braces are there. Inside these curly braces, we have to define various variables and functions. So uh, there are uh, two blocks uh, available. First is showing access specifier. Another is also uh, uh, saying access specifier. Inside access specifier, we can uh, declare variables and functions. In another section, uh, you are also seeing that variables and functions can be declared. So we can define n number of variables and functions inside a class. Then in last, we have to use semicolon for the termination of the class syntax. Now, this is the example of class specification. Uh, specification. So as uh, in the syntax, we have learned that class is a, a keyword, then name of the class is student. Then inside curly braces, first access specifier is private and second access specifier is public. So inside private, there are three variables, roll number, which is of integer type, name, which is of character type, and marks, which is of flow type. So you can consider these members as data members declaration. So after it, public access specifier is defined in which three functions are declared, set data, display data, and percentage. These can be considered as member functions declaration. Now object as variables of class data type. So uh, we have uh, completed two blocks uh, which we have discussed in the first slide. 
object and class now third one is object as variable of class data type so syntax is uh, first we have to use class keyword then name of the class and then object name object name can be any name which will be considered as a variable name or we can use uh, directly name of the class and object name to create any variable or object for the class so here are some examples in first example class student s1 is written so this s1 will be considered as object of the class you can write it as student s1 or if you want to declare more than one variables then you can write student s1 s2 and s3 so this is the process uh, through which you can create variables of the class now th uh, this is another example uh, class student then curly braces then after uh, closing the curly brace you can declare various variables uh, just after completion of the class so this semicolon is for only this purpose if we want to declare variables uh, after the class specification then we have to use this semicolon as termination now how can we access members of a class so syntax is first we have to use object name then dot then data members uh, if we want to access member functions then again we have to use object name then dot and then member function and its parameter list so here are some examples s1 dot roll number s1 dot name s1 dot set data and s1 dot percentage so first two are accessing uh, data members and remaining two are accessing member functions now uh, here access specifiers are defined so first one is private so the private uh, in this the members declared as private are only visible to the members of the class or we can say inside the boundary of the class protected the members declared as protected are accessible within the class as well as by the members of derived class so this access uh, specifier we will use in inheritance which is discussed later in the uh, other tutorials then third one is public the members declared under the access access specifier public are accessible inside the class in derived class and outside the class by objects of the class now this is the first c++ program the objective is program to read name and roll number of a student and print print it using object oriented approach so uh, first uh, we have included a header file iostream.h then class keyword name of the class is student in private i have mentioned two variables roll number and name uh, which are known as data members then in public section i have defined two functions read and print so here see out and seen uh, are used which are known as object and these uh, two objects are predefined in iostream.h so see out is similar to printf which we use in c language and cn is similar to scanf which we use in uh, c language so see out will print enter roll number on console then scene will read roll number inside this variable then again see out will print enter name on console and this scene will read name from console so this is the first function in second function uh, only see out is used because it is uh, printing some text on console so it will print roll number and name so the text which is enclosed in double quotes will be printed as it is and roll number and name which uh, which are not enclosed in uh, double quotes uh, will print uh, their values because these are variables then andl it is similar to slash n it will uh, bring the cursor on new line then <clears throat> this is termination of class semicolon then inside main function a student s this s is known as uh, object of the class or variable of the class and this student uh, will be known as uh, user defined data type then to access member functions i have used as dot read and as dot print so uh, the, these are some statements which are explaining the program iostream it is header file for c in c out then class it is a keyword which creates user defined data types it collects data members and member functions related to an object then private is it is access specifier i have already discussed about it public then there are uh, two uh, special operators first one is insertion operator which is used with c out 
and second one is extraction operator which we used with uh, scene operator then handle means end of line manipulator so this is all about the explanation of the program now these are some programs which you can implement with the help of the program which i have discussed with you so first is to read book number author name and price of book and display then calculate area and perimeter of rectangle then read two complex number and display them then to read heights of person and display it if uh, enters inches are greater than equals to 12 then convert them into feet so implement these programs uh, so that you can uh, able to write programs in c++ thank you for watching this video